just uh, dropped off, uh, I don't know, six guys, I guess. Let's see, I have three in the back seat, two more back there, that's five, and there's one in the front. Yeah, so that's uh, six people, seven total for me, I guess. Oh, that seems weird. Oh, it's an odd number because there's three in the middle. Um, at Magic Mountain, Six Flag Magic Mountain. And this is a good example of uh, how uh, the, some of these uh, Lyft, Uber drives can seem uh, like a bad deal. The ride share in general bad. It could be a bad deal. Um, by the way, today is May 5th. Cinco de Mayo. Or as some people like to refer to it, Cinco de Trinco. Um, it happens to be on a Friday, which naturally means that it's actually going to be Cinco de Mayo Friday today, and it's going to be Cinco de Mayo Saturday, and it's going to be a Cinco de Mayo on Sunday. At least uh, according to the, some of the friends I have. Anyway, back to uh, right share. Um, naturally, I don't approve any of them driving while partying, but uh, that's what that's what actually lift and right and these things can be used for. You know, that's actually a good thing about this. It gives people a uh, dedicated um, driver that's not so expensive as a taxi. Uh, anyway, the reason I'm saying uh, what I'm saying is because I've only got two rides, okay? So the first hour, uh, the first ride took about 40 minutes. It was during rush hour kind of traffic, but it was only from near my house to the freeway I mean to, to the freeway <laughs> it was only from near my house to LAX the airport uh, and that's about uh, 10 miles I think it's not that far but because of traffic it takes longer and because it was the not a special bonus time or anything like that um, it ended up taking, I mean, it ended up, I ended up earning about $14 or $15. I think it was like $14.75 or something like that. Uh, and so when you think of that, you think, well, that was a quite a long ride, although I got paid more, uh, more uh, dollars per mile. I didn't make, it wasn't 10 miles and I made $10. I made 15-ish almost. But for 47 minutes, well, that's almost an hour, you know, we're going on 15 minutes here, and it was only not even quite $15. So that's, to me, terrible hourly rate wage, not to mention the gas expenses, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then it turned out I had to, I was actually running out of gas, I forgot from the night before. So once I got done with that, I stopped, and I kind of basically just took a break right after the first ride. And I got back on it about uh, 10 in the morning, thinking, all right, and now, you know, I've missed the morning surge, but I need to get more rides. I only have one. And $14, $15, that's not going to cut it. It's totally unacceptable. Well, it turns out the very next ride I get is a big group ride because I'm driving a bigger truck. I can, I can fit actually six passengers. One next to me, three behind in the back seat, and then there's two more additional seats in the third row. So that's uh, two plus three is five, and the one uh, next to me is six. And on top of that, they're going from not too far from me, which is Westwood, basically, to Magic Mountain, which is what I just showed you. Now we're going back. So that ride alone became like $60 just because of the distance and because it's what Lyft calls Lyft Plus. Because I, my vehicle is a plus size vehicle. <laughs> um, because it can carry more than I think four people. Once you get into five, six, whatever people. Both Uber and Lyft have a separate designation for that where you actually make more money so that was actually a profitable ride now it's still only one ride I need more rides per day to make this bonus but on the other hand it's nice to make money so suddenly because of that one ride because I have the bigger truck 
That's still only like an hour and 10 minutes of my time. It took about half an hour to get here because the traffic wasn't that bad because it's the middle of the day. It's 10.30, 11 o'clock, I think, actually. So suddenly it's a great deal. This morning was a lousy deal. One more ride, a different dynamic. Today is the fifth. I think I have um, 577 or 82 or something like that rides done, which means by the end of tomorrow, probably, I'll have crossed the 600 done. I'll be working on my last 400. Today I had one ride, that's lousy, the pay was terrible. I've been online almost an hour. Oh, I just gotta hit out here. So, getting off here to pick that person up. Somewhere over here, somewhere. All right, so I'll sign back in later. That's the big update for, you know, one ride in the morning turned out terrible, but the second ride made it all worthwhile. And that's how, it, like I said, that's how fast the dynamic can change. And the ratio between your time invested and your and the money you made. So it's not linear. It's not what people are used to, where you're getting paid a certain number of uh, dollars per hour. So then it's very linear. You know, you work two dollars, and when you work two hours, you're getting you're paid for for two hours. You work three hours, you're getting paid the same uh, the, the same you know rate times three. Uh, but with this, it's it's different. Things can happen where you're getting paid a lot more or a lot less. It's depending on the situation, the distance, how many people, what your the capacity is for your car. Um, this thing, for the, being a big car, uh, you know, the Lyft Plus capable ends up giving me an extra perk that normally I wouldn't like. It, it doesn't even matter. It kind of makes it a bonus once people need it, no matter what, because it's automatically a little bit more money, even if we're not in a special time frame or. Uh, hot zone or this big demand or etc etc all right i'll talk to you guys later hope that was helpful stay safe out there watch your mirrors uh, now i earlier i was talking about uh magic mountain and i did two rides added up to 74 dollars in like an hour and 10 minutes or whatever it was um, and now here, this is the end of the night. I've gotten 16 rides today, and I'm at 217. Um, as you recall earlier, I said I'll probably break 200, which I have, um, largely because of the capacity of the truck. It ends up giving people, uh, you know, more space, and that ends up being an extra charge. So when you get uh, quite a few people in there. In here, I mean, uh, and the ride is halfway decent, like the Magic Mountain ride was today, the Six Flags Magic Mountain ride. Then it adds up. Suddenly, it becomes, you know, e even the medium sized rides are still, uh, you know, instead of $5, it ends up being 12 or something. And uh, a few of those, pretty soon, you're starting to, you know, it adds up. So here's what I got so far, uh, 217, took nine hours so far, I just got 16 rides, and I'm, I've, I've broken the 600, like I said, I'm at 607, so, uh, you know, less than 400, 493 to go, and I have about three weeks, a little over three weeks, so that looks doable. Okay, I just got a hit. Let's see if he sticks there with me. Looks like it's on Westwood Boulevard, maybe. Oh, he's nearby. I said, "Okay." I think we're gonna make it. No, couldn't make that turn. the alley 
right here. So this will be 50, this will be 17 if I get them. They can see where you're going, by the way. On the app, they can the, the riders can see where you're driving. So if you're driving too insane, they'll be like, you're going the wrong way, or whatever they may call you, which is actually useful. Uh, you know, sometimes I know I'm turning around or whatever, but other times it's, it's actually I caught a ride that I was going to lose because I didn't realize that I had it. But when I started getting too far away, the guy called me, but not, not too, too far away. I was able to turn around and get him. That was part of a line. Uh, anyway, it looks like I'm almost here, so let me shut down the camera. And we'll uh, pick this up a little later. Okay, bye. Yeah. <laughs> it's on my own shadow. I was like, who's that? <laughs> <laughs> right next to me. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs>